and I love this song as well. I don't remember it being in this game. It's guaranteed copyright, <laughs> but it's badass. ended up like a dad. That was a pretty dark joke, but it's almost true. And the fire's gone through here. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad. He's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. Okay, so this I like. I, I prefer that this to dream sequences. But he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do. Anything. And it's not. He's not talking Keep cryptic saying. messages. It's. It's. He's talking hey, like a normal dad? person. Yeah. You ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies. I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So, you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Depends what the lie was. I guess it depends on what it was. That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Do you know what I mean about Are talking you normally? Really ready to hear the answer to your question? This is why I, this is a million times better than the dream sequences. And I like the option we have here. I like both those options. I'm gonna say no. I don't need to know. You know what, Dad? Never mind. I don't. I don't need to know. That's it. I believe. I think it's just a good scene. If if he'd been like that the entire time, like I if he, this way. If it wasn't a dream. Like he, he just appeared. Like this. That I'll always be the perfect dad. I think it's far better. How many people get to And the bullshit them? dream sequences we've had the entire game. No <laughs> way. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. love that song. Shame we're gonna have to cut it out for the YouTube. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever doesn't get my channel taken down. <laughs> See what we can do. Oh 
Go like this. It's the barn where we had the uh, the party, the gig, in the very first episode. It's going to end where it all began. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. I don't know what's happened. I presume First, he's been I've stabbed, help but... Rachel's mom. I didn't see him. I didn't... I didn't... I, 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 fucking hell. Like, if you had cut to inside the RV and you see, like, Frank laying down or passed out or something, then I'd be like, okay. That deer head's still getting power and it looks fucking creepy. Okay, so there's a collectible in here. Where the hell is Sarah? Just go boop 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 and move this. Oh great, just give the element of surprise away, just make a huge noise. Don't mess with Damon Merrick, okay. Don't tell me what to do. Graffiti this, right? Don't tell me what to do. Tag. Um, I can graffiti this. Oh, we need to get a knife, right? Yeah. Also, that would be very useful for what's about to happen next. So, I'm just going to go back here and destroy. I'm not afraid. There we go. So, you should have every collectible achievement in uh, Life is Strange before the storm. Good. Burn a phone. You gotta believe me, I ne- Okay. I'm not a goddamn snitch. Who the fuck told you that? No. Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I'm gonna drug her. Give her some heroin. I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does Your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes in Oh junk. shit. We just he said intervene? you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I'm the delivery boy. Use a knife. Got your money? We we'll talk about this knife. I don't want to ask wrong. Right money. <laughs> I'm panicking. The money James owes you. How the fuck do you run? No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say. <laughs> okay, this is going well. And my knife fell out of my pocket. Oh shit. Over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying Seriously, to help. Seriously, Chloe? 
Okay, that, that I understand. You just backhanded her and she was like crawling about. Okay, it's not, not going well. No, don't. No. Shit. fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with Damon? Frank, hey, what, what did you happened? do? Ho 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 ho! I fucked you up good. Didn't why did you stop Frank? I guess, you really I guess you were pissed off from the, the junkyard. Let's see you back on your feet, Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Right in the head. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She. Go, Frank. Stepping in yet again. Good guy, Frank. It's creepy you know my name. Is Frank okay? How'd you get out of the chair? Where's Frank? Was I seriously knocked out longer than you were drugged Demon. up? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. Good guy, Frank. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. Know about what? Well, you need help. Uh, I'm not- those options are both vague. Let's go if you need help. I, I think you need help. Let me, let me call someone, or something. I need you to listen. What James did, hiring that thug, shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Um, that's bullshit. <sighs> that's Bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. Um, she deserves to meet you though, at least. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. 
Um, I lost my best friend. I, I'm guessing that's going to be about Max. I lost my father. That's 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 a better option here. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was. He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. Okay, uh, you quit for a year, um, but Rachel needs you. You, you quit for a year, so you can do it again. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize. I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. I don't know what options people there. They are far from perfect. I thought my dad was perfect. They are far from perfect. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <sighs> He doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Um... Remember your letter? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. 
Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait. Don't leave. I, I swear there's a way you can stop her from leaving, but I, I don't. I don't think I've ever been able to do it. It might not even be possible, but don't leave. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. back at the, the hospital. Oh, and there's my light in the, in the corner over there. We made for her at the start of the episode. That's sweet. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. Oh, she's just fallen asleep. I'm gonna wake her up. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later. Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> That's an awkward position. Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Oh, here we go. This is the last decision. Tell Rachel everything or protect Rachel from the truth. Now, I want to go with tell Rachel everything. I know it's everything Sarah asked us not to do, but my rationale is that this whole situation was caused because she, she was being lied to. And so I don't want to add to that because it'll just be repeating the same mistakes of the past. So I'm going to tell Rachel everything. And I want to point out that they make the perfect expression, facial expression, later on. It is the the most perfect facial expression in video games ever. And I'll point it out when we get to it. So I'm going to tell Rachel everything. This is going to be the end of the game. So I'm going to tell everything about her dad. About the, the lies, the letters, the deals with um, Damien. So Rachel starts freaking out. And here, in the, here's a facial expression, it's coming up soon. There. That's it. The, the scorn in their eyes, they nail that. But uh, I do feel bad for James there. But he did kind of bring it on himself. And 
as Frank. So he survived the fight. Um, I believe he's killed Damon. Why is there blood in the picture? Did he kill Damon over the photographs? So that's a clean knife, despite him killing people with it. But yeah, he's, I think... Frank, good guy Frank. And to kill his friend, because his friend was a massive dick. He even poured a beer out for him. Everything's going well for Joyce and David. And they even proposed. Oh, that's so sweet. And Chloe looks so thrilled. Oh, and there's douchebag Kendall moving out, leaving, being expelled. Oh, I got called by the police in someone else's house. That's good, at least. Playing D and D. And from the set up there, it looks like Drew is that dwarf bard. That is awesome. Oh, and there's Nathan and Thing. What's her face? I've forgotten her name. She's sweet, sweet girl, sweet shy girl. And that is also very different depending on your actions during the game. If you don't help Nathan before the play, uh, Nathan obviously loses his shit, becomes more of a psychopath. And in that scene, uh, you see the sweet girl running away from Nathan. <laughs> I wasn't waving at you, bitch. I'm glad I expelled that bitch. There's a fucking raven, what is that on about? Is that meant to be a dad? Is that really what it's going on about? It's all nice and happy. This is despite the shit that's all happened. God, I love the music here. I hope I don't have to cut it out. Every time I've said that, I've had to cut it out. I just have to not say anything. He was afraid of Virginia Woolf. Uh, that was mentioned earlier in episode one, wasn't it? Or was it Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? I don't remember. But there we go. Chloe's died of her now, just like she is in Life is Strange 1. She even looks older. And there we go. Fulfilling the time paradox, the time canon. So I wonder if we didn't do that. Maybe they don't show this scene. Even Chloe's got a tattoo there. That's strange. I remember there's a scene where it shows off that Chloe's got a tattoo. Like that. There we go. I just remembered, I watched the gaming scenes about this. And they, and they said like the, the ending's ruined because of Life is Strange 1. How it, it goes on to show that like, Rachel cheats on Chloe with, with like two or three different people in the future. And of course there's also the events of Life is Strange 1 which leaves a bitter taste in the mouth. Very sad emotions. There we go. That is Life is Strange Before the Storm. I love it. I want to skip this. I want to see. Let me end.
So at the end, we told Rachel the truth, the majority of the people, only by a little bit, uh, didn't tell the truth. Um, let's have a look at all the minor choices. You killed the plant with soda. You killed the plant with the neglect. What the fuck? Most of the people killed the plant with soda. What plant? I had never even knew where the plant was. Accepted David's photograph. 90% of people did that. That's interesting. And only 10% of people rejected it. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. You gave Drew's money to Damon. You returned Drew's money to him. You donated Drew's money. You kept Drew's money. Okay. Uh, you didn't va visit the nurse at the hospital. You visited the nurse at the hospital. You sparred with Drew of a pudding. That's how you get the other collectible. You played tabletop with Mikey. We didn't do that. Oh, I probably should should have done that. Cause I like that game. I like the games. So this is a shame. Uh, you didn't don donate to the firefighters fund, and you can donate a hundred thousand two hundred fifty. Interesting. You revealed to Damon that Thunder was a snitch. A surprising amount of people did that. Most of the people said that Sheldon was a snitch because everyone hates him. Uh, Rachel didn't meet her mother. Rachel met her mother. You see, you can do it. I don't know how to do that. I've, I've played this game like maybe four times now. And I've never met, got Rachel to meet her mother. And so the majority of people, only like 19% of people managed to dig, get that ending. There must be some of Maybe in the choices at the end. Um, I'm thinking it's the one... Where maybe not, but I want to say the choice where it's between saying that you lost your dad or you lost your friend. When I pointed out that I thought, when you kind of reiterate the fact that Chloe lost her dad and that's why she's so bad, it reinforces Sarah's idea that if Rachel loses her dad, it'll fuck her up. You know, so that makes sense. But there we go. And then the pictures that you can find in Life is Strange 1. I think this place should look familiar. Fucking hell. So that's Nathan. Accidentally uh, killing Rachel there. That was very fucked up ended. But there we go. Um, and there's also the bonus episode, which I won't do today because it's midnight now. So, well, nearly midnight. Oh, fucking hell, nearly midnight. It's in 11. Fucking hell. Um, so, we'll do that next time. <laughs>